Hey, this is Chuck the Bureaucrat here with another tip about how to make your instructions to people more effective and easier for them to follow. But before I do that, I do want to remind you, I'm trying to build my YouTube subscriber base. And what that means is I got to ask you guys to help me by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Now, here is a basic and simple rule to follow when it comes to giving people instructions. You want to give them positive instructions. You want to tell them what to do. You want to avoid the situation where you tell them what not to do. Now, there's a couple obvious reasons for this. First of all, if you tell people not to do something, and this is specifically if you say it, and they don't hear the not part, what they hear is the exact opposite of what you wanted them to do. The second reason is that in a lot of cases, what not to do doesn't get them doing the thing you want. It leaves them with a question of what they should be doing. And when they come up with their own answer about what they should be doing, it might not be what you wanted them to do. So what are some simple examples of giving positive instruction instead of negative instruction? Well, here's two of my favorite examples. The first one is simply no parking. Businesses will sometimes put a no parking sign in front of their business. What that does is that discourages people from being near them. I much prefer the technique of parking in rear. That tells people where to go to park and it keeps people close to the business. Another simple example is just the picture of no dogs pooping. Okay, sometimes you can't control that. What's much more effective is the positive instruction, pick up after your dog. And I know that both of these examples are sort of pedestrian things that we see every day in our lives, but the same phenomenon happens in the guidance we write and comply with and give to people. So as you're writing guidance for people, think about what you actually want them to do and then tell them that that's what they're to be doing. In the meantime, if you have comments, thoughts, questions, even ideas, put them in the comments, send me a message, help me develop this material so that we can build a more effective and better closely knit organization.